Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just so good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Oh, I'm gonna like this. Strange though. That one didn't completely blow up. That crystal, I shot it once, but it's glowing again.
Your chest. Got it. Oh, that's not. Now it's stuck on the other side. Tired of shattering things with this. Not long now, Mom. broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. 
will do for now. Good? Good. Hmm. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. He's not company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me. So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. But I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. 
I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. the long-lost realm of the giants that's that's inconvenient yeah that's just what I was going to say soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind moons to the witch's house. Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemir back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head.
Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder! And you fought him, and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. <gasps> Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work center he hasn't the sense to sip or sup. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean Hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here? Already on a break from my break. There's quality material. Rate you're going might last a day. Always a pleasure. Now fuck right.
So what story were you going to tell? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Here. Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. This will lead out. Hey, this does more than decipher those Muspel hammerings. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. What it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie.
Father, she is here. Oh. It's so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Pamela. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. <sighs> Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. In your face. No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. 
Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Ed, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why are you? to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, but I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. 
Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Right behind you! Nightmares, ugh! What awful past! Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. And for you? Nothing to your liking. Yeah. I see. to the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. That's it. 
then!
Come here. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <sighs> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. And we'll pick this up later. Gulvik. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living! My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go! without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand.
This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. 